Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we are going to take a look at the upgrade to iOS 11. So this is upgrade day, and so iOS 11 is available, and it's set up for uh, download for the upgrade. And so what I'm going to do is walk you through the upgrade process. This is something I usually do on an annual basis, and so I uh, didn't want to make an exception here. want to do the same thing with iOS 11 because there are so many great features and enhancements to it, especially related to the iPad. And so I'm going to do this upgrade on the iPad just to give you an idea of what this process looks like so you have a good walkthrough. So here I am in the um, settings area. And if you go to general and settings uh, in here, in fact, if I just tap back, you'll see here you go into general uh, in, in here. And then you're going to go to software update and tap that. And then in software update, you'll see the iOS update. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tap on download and install. And we'll just jump right into the process. So I just need to enter my password now. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, now that I've got my password in there, I'm going to tap on done. And so what it's going to do is it's going to ask me to accept the terms and conditions. I'm going to say agree. Now, one of the things you want to do before you do this is make sure you do have a backup to iCloud. Make sure you have that up and running um, just so that you don't have any problems here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on agree. And it asks me again if I agree. I'm going to say yes, I do agree. And so now it's going to request the update, and it's going to go through the process of downloading the update. And you can see it says it's... Got about a minute remaining. Now this is going to vary for you just depending on uh, how many people are hitting the server and all of that sort of thing. You can see that uh, the little progress bar will go there. I'm going to go ahead and let this run. But again, as this is running, I do want you to make sure that you have done a backup to iCloud and that you've got that all set and ready to go because you'll want to make sure that uh, you have that to restore from just in case something goes wrong with the update uh, because that can happen. And give yourself some time on your backup too because it could take a little bit of time to get that backup to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Looks like it's only got a few seconds there and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's downloaded. Okay, now that it has uh, checked that out, it's downloaded it. It says the uh, update will begin in four seconds, three, two, one. And I can say later or install now. And it's going to go ahead and do the install now. And you can see that it's verifying the update. And so it's going to go through this verification process just to make sure that the update that I've got is okay. And then it's going to reset itself and restart, which again is going to turn my software off here on my screencasting. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like on the device itself. Okay, so here we are on the screen now that you can see that the update has completed. Uh, it took basically about 10 minutes or so to do the update. And so, uh, again, it wasn't too long. That actually worked out really well. And so now it's asking me to log in to complete the setup process. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to press down on the button here. It's going to ask me to enter my Touch ID uh, password. I'm going to go ahead and put that in right now. Okay, now that I've got that in there, I'm just going to go ahead and tap on Done. And so now it tells me that the update is completed. And so there's just a few more steps that I've got to complete to finish the update. So I'm just going to tap on Continue. And so now it's going to ask for my Apple ID. So let me go ahead and just put in my Apple ID and uh, put that password in there. Okay, now that I've entered my password, I'm just going to go ahead and type uh, Enter. And so now it's loading in my uh, Apple ID. And now for Apple ID security, uh, it says that my Apple ID has been updated to use two-factor authentication. And so it gives me the latest features of iCloud and that sort of thing. And so as a part of update, the recovery key is no longer required to reset the password. So it's letting me know that. If I prefer to keep using a recovery key, I can create a new one in settings. And so this is a change that uh, now that it's using two-factor authentic authentication, uh, that's the most advanced security. So you can uh, tap about it if you want to, or you can create a new one in settings if you want to have a recovery key, but you don't really need one. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on continue. Okay, so now what it's doing is updating my iCloud settings and going through the rest of the setup process. 
And so we're going to go ahead and let that run uh, so that it finishes all these pieces. Uh, one of the great things uh, about this update is that it really didn't take me as long as I thought it might. And it seems like with these updates, it's getting uh, shorter and shorter in terms of the time it takes to update it. Uh, one of the great things is the, uh, the download itself was a lot smaller than in uh, past versions of uh, iOS updates, and so that's probably improving the performance and uh, and what needs to be done for the update. So uh, there we go. So now it takes us to the next uh, area here where we decide whether we want to share our analytics with Apple or not. Uh, so we can either choose to share or not share. And so now it's uh, walking me through a little bit of a tutorial here. It's showing me that we have a new doc uh, that I can bring up just by uh, swiping uh, from the bottom and bringing it up. And I'm going to go ahead and do a screencast that details all this for you. Uh, but it is nice and it is enough of a change that Apple felt like they have to put something in here. So let me just tap continue. And then it tells us, talks about switching between apps. And because this is the new app switcher, it kind of shows us how that works as well. I'm going to hit continue. And so now it just says, welcome to iPad. And so I'm just going to tap on get started. And it takes us right into the update. And as you can see, everything is in place. And I've got the new dock on the bottom, which had my previous items that I had in the springboard down below before. And you can see we can start to add uh, different things to that as time goes on. So that gives you an idea of how the update works. Again, a very simple process really did not take me that long at all to update my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and update my other iOS devices as well. And so again, just remember to have a backup just in case something doesn't go right or maybe some of your apps don't work and you need to roll back. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I will be doing uh, some screencasts to kind of show you how this works and some of the changes so you get an idea of this. So we have this and we have um, our upcoming uh, update to uh, High Sierra as well, which I will go ahead and go over some of those issues too. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how the update works. And so that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.